Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today we're up with more from KS Craft. So we are going to be doing this cute little Easter house box. Now just a quick explanation of these when you're making this obviously there's all sorts of decorative pieces and you can choose to use whatever you want. There's little topiary trees, there's a, a little Bible book there with a cross on it. You've got grass, you've got eggs, you've got a little bunny, you've got carrots, you've got the windows and you've got the uh, scalloped rooftop and you've got the uh, sort of like ziggy zaggy tiles. So you've got a huge selection of those. So you need to cut two fronts and well a front and the back it will turn out to be and two sides so my organization what have i done right i've chosen to use meredith cardell and it's called merry hoppy bunny and that is from snap click supply and it's this kind of vintage gingham and it's a lemon color so that is the front of your box i've got another front of my box you've got a score line there that score line you have to excuse my little bits it's from having cut brown and black cardstock and it gets stuck in your plates that will become your roof line so this is like the bottom section of your box and that is your roof so you'll cut two of those and then you need to cut two sides now the bottom panel also serves as the side panels if you want it to. So I've just cut it in a kind of banana-y yellowy cream and that's going to be the base of the box. But if you wanted to cut panels in like, I don't know, a brick design or something or stamp it, then it's going to fit in there so that you can decorate it up and just stick it onto your sides and do that i'm choosing to glue straight to my gingham so let's see how that works out yeah <laughs> so i've just cut one base and then to save on time i've cut some little bits out that i think i'm going to use so i've done all of the topiary trees oops I do like this one. It's kind of humorous, isn't it? Kind of Dr. Seuss. Yeah. And I've got carrots. And I have cut out six of these. You get three on the die. So just run through in green, then in orange, and then just chop the leaves off the orange ones and stick them down onto your green ones. And you'll end up with your carrots. So I have cut six of those. I've cut two little bunnies. And these are the sweetest little bunnies you ever did see. These would look fabulous inside a little rosette on top of a paper clip. Look at those. Got to get right in because you've got to see their expressions. There you go. Aren't they sweet? And of course you could always use a little bit of pink watercolour pen or even your alcohol ink marker if you wanted a little bit of pink there and a little tiny dot if you've got a fine journal pen you could do a little dot of pink on the nose but I just think they're so sweet they would look absolutely fabulous on paper clips right so I have cut two little bunnies I have cut four windows and I'm just going with white and blue cardstock. Now, the white, which is the frame, you get that one. And you also get the rectangle, which just fits inside there to create whatever window you want. I mean, you can have a view in there if you've got some, I don't know, countryside paper. Or you've got something that looks like it's a little vase of flowers that you wanted in your window. You can do that. But I've just gone with plain blue. I have cut three lots of grass. You get a short and you get um, a tall grass. So I've cut two lots there and glued them together. But I also cut another one and left those separate because I haven't got a clue what I'm doing with those yet. And I've also cut the roof. Now, this is the top line of your roof. And then these are your tiles. And from the same Meredith Cardell pack again. And these, if I hold them up, 
you can see tiny little Easter words. So those are the tiles of my roof and I've also chosen it for my door. So if you can see, you've got egg hunts and kisses. Oh, that's a really good close up today. Goodness me. Ah, I like what it says at the bottom. It says the hunt is on. But you can see how small those words are with my finger in there because I don't have big hands. Right, so those are all the bits that I've cut. So I'm just going to move some stuff out of the way and I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is we want to find our score lines. And because this is a gable top box, you want this bit bent out towards you. So I'm hoping you can see there is a score line there, but it's kind of hidden in the pattern. So I'm just going to flip that over and just very gently find that point. And then I do have my trusty old bone folder. And I'm just going to go down there really gently. That's all you need to do. So now you've got your crease line where your gable box is going to go like that. And then on this line, of course, it's your roof. So you want to go that way. So when you're doing your side, your box should look like that. And that will come up just a little bit higher. So I hope that you can see that. So that's how you should be folding. And then there's score lines here and these need to be folded in. So all I'm doing is making sure that I've got those lines before I start decorating. Because if I've got a lot of bulk on there, it could be harder to do it afterwards. So you only have to do it gently, but just as long as you've got them there. Right, so that's how you do one side. I'm just going to run off and do the other. Right, so I've done those. And then on this one, all you have to do is fold up the bottom. Once again, there is a score line there. And that has to be folded in towards you. So just very gently go along until you find that crease. And then just go in once again with your bone folder. I'll just do the other one and I'll be right back. Right, so we've got both of those done and that is what your sides should look like. Your bottom pieces should be bent in towards you. Now, before we do any decorating, I'm now going to attach my pieces onto my base. Now, a lot of people don't like to do it this way and I'm wondering actually if I should because it might confuse a lot of people. So what I'll do is I'll glue two sides. I'll put the base on last. Right, so here are our two sides. You've got your gable handle and you've got your slot and that has got to glue onto here. Now, you can do it totally flat if you want to. I prefer to do mine faced over so that I can see before the score line which is here. So I'm just going to get my glue bottle and I'm going to go along there. I don't want to put too much glue down. And then we're just going to get the side of our gable box here and you're going to line it up score line to score line. at the bottom which you can see I didn't do that has to slide just fractionally there we go so that once you've done that your finished piece should line up when it's folded here can you see that it lines up now I'm just going to do exactly the same on the other one I'll be right back OK, so that's all done. And now I've got two pieces that look exactly the same like this. And then when I'm ready to, all you do is glue that one onto that one. And I'm telling you, I can't wait to get my contact paper <laughs> because I'll be able to lift my camera up. So they will just join up and become a long grow. So what you want is a side, a front, a side and a front. 
right so now the good bit which is decorating and as I said if you wanted to you can cut a base just like this and you can fit it onto there if you wanted to in brick paper or anything like that and it might make it easier for you to be able to just you know glue your windows and stuff on and put a whole panel on but I'm being awkward and I'm just going straight to the side of my box so first thing I want to do is start with my roof tiles now that is the top of my roof that will go up to there and of course I've cut two sets one for each side so I'm just going to grab that. We've got another one here and another one here. So two ziggy zaggies and one scallop. So you want to start not at the top. You want to start at the base. Now it's entirely up to you if you want to, you know, kind of try and overlap it. Personally, I wouldn't. <laughs> And then you've got another scallop to go on top, which will go up here. So I'm looking at the space that I've got here and the alignment is going to be just above your box score line for your first strip. So that is what I am going to do. And I'm only putting my glue here at the top edge because I might want to fluff it up a bit. You never know when you want a little bit of dimension or, you know, just to tuck anything in. So I'm only going at my top edge. And I'm trying to look at the design on the camera because I did try and cut it straight. And I think that's straight. So I'm going down with that and then I'm getting my next ziggy zaggy and it does have a lovely emboss in it. I don't know whether that's going to pick it up but if you cut it in plain cardstock, can you see those zigzags there? Then you're likely to see them better. But you know, me being awkward, I've gone and used a, a pattern paper. And then you want to go above and just hide your gingham. That's all you need to do. So we're going to drop that down slightly. And pop that one onto there. I'm just looking at that now. Making sure that I am straight. And then the last but not least is your scallop. You could of course cut this in um, a totally different colour to everything else. And of course this is an Easter box but you can make it for any season that you want. And then I'm going just under the score line for the gable there. And that is my little Easter roof. You can see I only did the top edge so that you can if you want to start to lift some of those up when you dry them. Right so exactly what I've just done there I'll do on the other one. I'll be right back. Right, so I have completed both sides of my roof now. So here's the other one. And of course, remembering, you're going to glue down like this. Now, this is going to be my front. And I'm going to have my door there. And I'm going to have it right down just above the score line. And hopefully, I'm going to get that in the centre. So I'm just going to glue that down. I'm just kind of sizing it up here. So I've got my door stuck and as you can see it's not going to interfere. It's slightly above that score line. Now I've got my grass and the reason I never glued it together before was because I wasn't sure um, what exactly I wanted to do. But I think I want to go either side of the front door with it which would mean gluing it together and then chopping bits off as I go so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to quickly glue that one on top of that one 
Right, so I've done that and I only glued it along the bottom edge so that if I want to stuff anything in there in a minute, I'm going to be able to do that. So I need to, you know, kind of stick that down because I can fold it over to cut the edge off. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run a little bit of glue just on the bottom edge above my score line. line it up with my door you don't want to interfere with any of your score lines and just glue that little bit in place there i'll let that dry i'll be right back right so i think that's dry enough and if you remember i only put glue in this little area here now you can still fold this in half just like you do when you're making a card and get your scissors now and just go down really carefully you don't want to cut into your box and snip that off just take your time doing it so now we've got a little bit of grass on that side and now I'm gonna go with the nice end not the bit I've just snipped off and I want to go on this side And then I think I'll tuck in my tall topiary trees for the front door. So once again, a little bit of glue just along there. Line it up just above your score line. Go down just a little touch. Right, I'm going to let that dry. I'll be right back. Right, I think that's dry enough and now once again all you have to do is just flip it over get all your fluff off <laughs> and just trim that off just follow the straight line just take your time and snip it away and now when you flip it over you've got a little bit of grass either side of your front door now I have got two tall topiaries and I intend to use them so I'm just finding them now they are opposite so you can choose to be that way around or that way around I'm gonna go this way around and because I haven't glued this down all the way I've got a little bit of space in between my grass which I can fluff up a little bit and I'm going to be able to glue and tuck that just into there like that and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side so let me glue one just to show you I'm just fluffing up that grass just a little bit that's nice actually because it does add a little bit of dimension on there and then onto my topiary tree I'm just going to stick this bit and then just a few dots just to hold that in place so let's go in there and try and get it straight and I'm gonna go just there like that and now I'll go off and do the other one right so that's that done and now we're gonna work on this bit so I cut four windows so that I've got two for either side and I've got my grass that's already glued together which will fit into here and then I think I'm gonna have a little um, hidden rabbit you know just a, a little cheeky rabbit in the in the grass like that and I'm gonna poke in some carrots because as I said I've got some space so you can have your carrots lean in wherever you want them to so I think first of all kind of like line up my windows and I've got more topiary so I think I'm going to go with the round one which is going to go about there right so first of all I'm going to glue my grass down and make sure I'm in a nice line with that other piece And just put the glue on the bottom again because I'm always saying you never know when you want to tuck other stuff in 
so I'm above my score line and I'm lined up with this piece here so that's gone down and now because I'm not sure of the position of my topiary I'm going to stick my windows and I want them to be even from the folds of my box so with a bit of luck I'll be able to do that and I'm using the pattern on my cardstock which is why I chose it because <laughs> sometimes if you follow patterns it's uh, it's you know it's easy peasy so I can see I'm like one piece of gingham from the edge which I believe is about there And if I didn't cut my kingdom straight, that's what I was saying, then I'm in trouble. But I think I've managed it. So now I can see exactly where my windows are. I can pop my topiary in. And once again, this was only glued along the bottom edge. So I can just fluff that up a little bit with my fingernail. And I am going to go in the centre. just a little bit down the stem if you want to use a marker to do your stems uh, you know a woody color brown you can do that I'm just leaving mine green because it's quite cartoonish and cute so get that in there try and be straight which I hope that I am so I've got that little bit of topiary going on in there and then I've got three carrots for either side so I'm kind of configuring how I want them so I might have a couple of carrots growing there but when it comes to my bunny you know I might kind of make it look like he's he's stolen that one or something <laughs> Right, so I want to tuck my carrots in slightly. So once again, I'm just going down with my fingernail, what's left of them. Not much because I've been doing gardening. And the worst thing in the world is getting, you know, soil under your nails. It's horrible. So I'll just put a little drop of glue onto here. I don't need to be completely straight. Because we're having a bit of fun. And then I've just got that little bit fluffed up there. And I'm not gluing down the leaves, just the body of the carrot. And I'm trying to think, do I cross it over? I think I'm going to go there. So we've got a couple of carrots coming up out of the grounds there. And then this one is going to be for my bunny so I'm just going to lift up some of this from the background just flick it up with my nail and then I'm going to get my rabbit in there just one little dot of glue there on the face and I want him in there like that and then his little carrot He's just going to look like, you know, he's chowing down. I mean, there's all kinds of extra little details that you can add to something like this. You could put little neck curtains in the windows. You could do whatever you wanted to. But as I say, this one comes with all your Easter stuff. So you can change it for Christmas or birthday or anything. So there he is, our naughty little rabbit with his carrot. We've got that going on there. So that is basically the one side of our box. Now I've got my other grass. I've got my other two windows. I've got a different shape topiary this time. Three carrots and I've got a bunny head. So I'm just going to run off and do the front of the other one and I will be right back. Okay, so on this side, I decided 
my rabbit was causing absolute mayhem and he's gone and dug everything up bless him and you can see how that scene differs to that scene so still cute right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to join up this side now onto this edge and I am just going to run a small bead of glue down the middle there and I have got some bad humidity so I'm just going to press this across just before that score line again I'll give that a few seconds and I'll be right back right I think that's okay and the next thing we want to do now is we want to start our base off now all you need to do you can see one side is wider than the other let's just make sure that you know that so you don't make the mistake this is narrower and will fit to your side and this side will be wider and will fit to here so I'm going to start off right here and I'm just going to glue right in the middle my glue bottle has just kind of bunged itself up let's see if that's going to work I don't want to squeeze too hard there we go now I've got a little bit of glue along there and I'm taking and I'm making sure it is it fits right underneath that score line once again that's all you have to do make sure that you're straight and just press that into position right I'll let that dry I'll be right back okay so I've just looked at that and it is dry so the next thing you want to do now is you can flip it on its side if it will make life easier for you and you're just going to pop your glue down and stick your base one piece at a time so I'm going to go this way around just so that you can see exactly what I'm doing I've got a little tiny strip of glue there I'm just going to hold my box I'm going to bring that up just make sure that you've got it lined up smooth that down with your fingers now I've got to hold that for a second and I'll be right back okay so we've now got two sides glued and we're going in for the third now make sure that you've got your flap tucked in and just run some glue I hope that this is showing on camera for your third side like that and then all you have to do is just push that down make sure that you're straight once again smooth it with your finger and I need to hold mine just for a few seconds okay so now we've got three sides glued and the only one left to do is the fourth so this is what your box should be looking like at this point with just three parts of your floor glued in there and then it's just a matter of making sure that you've got your score line folded that piece is going to tuck into there and then this piece is going to glue onto here I hope that you can see that and I will vanish just briefly while my glue dries but I'll show you how to do that I'm going to try and manipulate the package into the camera right so we're going along this line here with some glue and then we're going on this line here with some glue I'm just going to cap my glue bottle off and all you have to do is tuck it in just like you're building a box just smooth that edge so that it's nice and straight and then bring the other side in towards you and make sure that that is nice and straight right I'm just going to hold it and I'll be right back 
right so if you look down inside the box you can see i've got a few um kind of fluffy glue stains down in there but you can absolutely cut another base and drop that down inside it will fit you might need to trim off just a little bit from the edges but if you want a lovely smooth inside you can totally do that now there are some bits of glue I can see that are still damp and I've got humidity so you have to forgive that. The only thing left to do now is your side pieces which are your gables. You're going to bring your two handles together like this. Make sure that they're lined up. You're going to tuck them through and it will just lock the box for you. So that you end up with a really sweet little gable top box that's got its roof it's got his little bunnies and his carrots it's got the front you can do exactly the same on the other side and of course here what i should have done is use one of ks crafts um easter sentiments and i just totally forgot so she'll have to forgive me and then on this side you've got another carrot scene but isn't that sweet now i know this video was a bit lengthy but that's only because i wanted you to see all the bits and pieces and how it went in but you can absolutely if you're doing this at home i think my videos run for what 30 minutes i would say you could probably do this in 20. and of course if you're mass producing then you can just keep cutting out lots of carrots and stuff like that but you've got a lovely plain place there where even those swags and banners that we did the other day just absolutely gorgeous and I think maybe one of the things that would finish this off is that carrot bow hang on a second right so this is what we made yesterday this lovely carrot bow and I'm actually going to glue it onto the bare side of my box and uh, I am going to use this box so I'm just going to pop that onto here on this side which uh, hasn't really got any decoration on it and I'm just going to go right there and I'm pretty sure I'm in the middle. I'm going to hold that for a second and I'll be right back. Right so there is a lovely carrot bow from yesterday just decorating the bare side of that gable box and I just think that looks really special. It's so cute. And then you've got all of this and then we get to the front and of course a sentiment up there absolutely perfect for that space and then this one here where i've got all of my bunnies tucking into their carrots i absolutely love that right i thank you so much for joining me today i've had great fun making chaos crafts easter collection it really is super super cute and i am up tomorrow with a design team haul from panelisa have an absolutely awesome day and as usual all links below bye